the things that you do I keep in my pocket like a charm. The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents Local Arts. Pamela Niskanen was born in Washington, D.C. and has worked in theater as a writer, actress, singer, director, producer, and technician. She's had a stint in the circus, a sushi bar, and a special effects shop. She has a bachelor's in drama and an MBA in arts administration, which means she's perfectly qualified to be a sculptor. Two years ago, she moved from bustling Brooklyn to set up shop in West Winfield. I was more interested in drawing at first, and I went, I hadn't done it for a long time, and I went to an open house at the Educational Alliance in New York City, because they had all their studios open for, for, with the teachers there and some work there, and you could sort of see how it went. And I sat down at the registration desk afterwards and said, I'll take welding. And I'd never done it before, but the, the guy who was the technician in the studio was so great and a real cowboy. So. He got us on the machines working right away, and I really, really loved it. And I never knew the qualities of actually being able to meld and merge metal together. And once I did it right, I was completely hooked. So that was a big experience for me because I, I hadn't gotten up off the page to do any three-dimensional work. Clumsy with macrame and textiles and pottery and things, but for some reason this seemed to be a really good medium for me. One important thing that I noticed is that I really see differently now that I've started working in sculpture. I don't look at an object as a photographer would, I look at it as a sculptor would, and I'm really wondering about all different sides of it and what, it, what the volume of it looks like. I was living in New York City and I was trying to run an art studio there in Brooklyn. Uh, very, very, very expensive, as you can imagine. And I saw an ad in the, um, on the New York State Foundation for the Arts website that said, live in artist's studio for sale. And I thought, okay. And Once I came up here, I, kn I didn't know anything about upstate and I didn't know anything about this area, um, but I completely fell in love with this house as, as a possibility for living in. And I spent a year coming up here on weekends and digging snow and mowing the lawn and whatever season it was and trying to get some artwork in on the meantime. It's cost me a tenth of the price that it would to keep a studio in New York City. And um, I discovered that I really, really like it up here and I moved up here permanently in December. I, I love the people up here. I like the peacefulness of it and the stresslessness of it. Once I'm in the process and I'm figuring something out, whether it works or whether it doesn't work, it, it's, a, it's a journey that's much more interesting than almost anything else I do in my life. So I keep going back to that. You can see some of Pamela's work at the second annual Bag Square Festival of the Arts, Saturday, May 31st. This avant-garde multimedia event is at Bag Square West in the 100 block of Genesee Street in Utica. Loyalty.